Hello, you wonderful people. Today, I want to give you the best website and the only website you need if you try to figure out a roadmap that you should follow for the type of developer you want to be. Do you want to be a front-end, back-end, full-stack? And by the way, before I show you this website, everybody on YouTube says that coding is over. There's going to be no jobs. Coding is not over. There are going to be jobs. So if you're just starting out, continue learning. Don't give up. Things may change. Things may shift. But we will always need developers to build cool things for clients. So don't let that fool you. So today I wanted to showcase this website called roadmap.sh. It is phenomenal. So I am done with creating my own roadmaps to tell people what they need to learn. I could recommend courses and whatever if you want. But this website literally got you covered. So... This is the best website. So again, if you go to roadmap.sh, it sounds like they sponsor. I don't have any sponsors. I don't even make money on this YouTube channel. So anyway, this is pretty awesome. So if you go to front end, you will see all the cool things you need to do to get stuff done. You could download it, save it on your computer. You could use and reference this website. And this is pretty awesome. And I just noticed they have a little visit the beginner version. Oh, that is so neat. That is so awesome. I'm blown away. So this is cool. So if you just like if you want a big roadmap overview and you know what's up, you could look at this detailed version and see everything you need to know. Or you could start visit the beginner's version. And man, I love. So it gives you important tips when you find the roadmap. Make sure to build as many projects as possible for each row node in a roadmap. And that's super important. I really like what they said here. The biggest thing that people do and the biggest mistake is that they try to learn something through doing a tutorial and instead of building things from scratch on their own they go ahead and just move on to something else and never ever spend the time to build a project based on what they learned so i love how they are giving us this tip saying hey you need to go ahead and build projects for each node so if you're starting out you should start with html css javascript Learn Git, I agree with all of this. NPM, basic concept of package management, front end frameworks like React, looking at CSS and Tailwind, and then maybe some basic testing with Jest. And being at this point, you should have enough knowledge to find a junior mid level. And this is correct. By the way, when I first got my job as a React developer, this is basically all I knew, which is pretty cool. And then you could look at the detailed version. And I love this. Here's another cool thing. Like they show you like all this stuff. Look, you need to know some of the basic concept about the internet. How does the internet works? You click on it. It's going to take you to a bunch of resources. How does the internet works? Boom. It gives you a good article. You could start reading through. So this is the most amazing resource. So go ahead, check this out. My friend showed me this website and he's don't tell anybody about this. And I'm like, no, this is gold. This is literally the only website you need. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually in the process of myself transitioning into full stack. And so I'm actually going to follow this uh, roadmap myself to figure out where I am. I'm, if I had to take a look at it, this is where I stop. Like I'm familiar with Node, with Postgres. I'm familiar with the RESTful APIs. I'm okay. Like I get JWT and how auth works. Redis, never used. I know what it is. And then so I need to start from here and work my way down to make that transition. And that is pretty awesome. So now I have a detailed roadmap, which I could be like, this is where I'm at. And I could start from here and I could like continue going down my journey which is pretty awesome. And so I hope if you've never heard about this website, go check out the roadmap.sh, but it's an amazing website for you. And I think this is where I'm gonna end the video, keep it short and simple. So the last thing I'm gonna say, I started learning to code at the age of 36. I got my first job at 39. I am now 43, still working and working in the field. So it's possible to transition careers later in your life. If you're younger, literally nothing to worry. Don't listen to other YouTubers that tell you there's no jobs left. There are jobs. 
when you hear about companies laying off, it's the big companies. But guess what? All the companies that lay people off, they also rehire them. I've talked to my friend who works at a big company where they had massive layoffs. And then a few months later, they went ahead and hired more people. Again, it's uh, web and flow. You have your good times, you have your bad times. But at the end of the day, being technical, they will always need people like you, even as AI keeps getting better. Here's the thing. The more you know about development, the more you understand how to build products, you have the superpower not only to get a job and work in the field, but you might come up with an idea and build your own app to solve a business problem. And this is why I never gave up on development because I have a skill where I could be self-employed by building products for people myself, or I could work at the company. So if this is something you enjoy and want to, don't give it up, keep going. But with that being said, love you. See you in the next one.